So the atomic number is the number of protons in an atom. Okay, so remember we shorthand protons P with a uh, superscript of a plus. And it's unique to each type of atom. Okay, so <clears throat> if we look at the symbol of carbon on a periodic table, okay, they'll have a number above, and then we'll have the symbol, then generally the name, and then some <clears throat> number underneath that's not a whole number, and we'll talk about that uh, later. Okay, the atomic number, <coughs> excuse me, is <clears throat> basically this number that's above the symbol. Okay, so atomic number and number of protons basically are the same number. So if we have a carbon atom, okay, carbon atom is going to have six protons. Doesn't matter where we find that carbon atom, doesn't matter how many we find, each one of those carbon atoms has six, six protons. If we find an atom and we are able to count and we know that it has six protons, that atom is a carbon. Okay, so the number of protons dictate which element we're looking at. So if we look at chlorine, looks something like this. What's our atomic number for chlorine? Hopefully you're yelling at your screen, 17, right? Stemming from the whole number that's above our symbol. So how many protons are in chlorine? 17. If we look at sodium. Sodium is one of those elements that's named after, it's given a symbol after um, it's non-English name. So sodium is this Na. Okay, how many, what's the atomic number for sodium? It's 11. And how many protons in sodium? 11. Atoms are charge neutral, which basically means that for every positive charge, we have to have a negative charge. So for every proton that we have, we have an electron. So the number of protons is going to equal the number of electrons in an atom. Now in chapter five, we'll talk about what happens when these numbers change, but for now, for the entirety of chapter three, if we're dealing with an atom, our number of protons and number of electrons are the same. Now our mass number is going to be the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. Okay, remember, neutrons have the uh, lowercase n with the uh, zero or degree symbol as their superscript. Okay. Uh, so when we look at this, I say mass number is equal to the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. And this mass number, because um, we don't include the uh, mass of the electron, is basically this is going to be the mass of the atom. And why do we not include the electron in the mass? Do you remember what I said on the previous, uh, previous video? That's because we assume that the mass of the electron is negligible. And the mass of the protons and the neutrons are so much greater that it doesn't matter how many electrons we have unless we're going to carry out 20 some decimals uh, that the mass of the electron is not going to change our value. Okay. So here, uh, this table at the bottom is a good way of wrapping up, kind of looking at um, all of these vocab words and getting to know your periodic table. Mm -hmm. um, so if we look at, say, our, uh, to fill in our gaps here, we have a symbol of capital N. 
Okay, that deals with nitrogen. That's the element name. If we look on the periodic table and we find nitrogen on there, we'll find that it has an atomic number of seven, which means that we have seven protons. And if we have seven protons and we're dealing with an atom, we will also have seven electrons. And then our neutrons. Okay, the only way that we can figure out neutrons is by using our mass number and our number of protons. Okay, we cannot get number of neutrons from the periodic table. So we have 15 minus 7 gives us 8 neutrons. So to determine our neutrons, basically we're taking our mass number minus the number of protons. And our mass number, if we have to go the other way, is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. And then we'll put that side note. Okay. For our neutrons, we cannot get number from the periodic table. Our number of electrons is equal to our number of protons. Our number of protons is equal to the atomic number. And our atomic number is going to be equal to the number of protons. Go ahead and pause the video. Take a stab and practice uh, filling these values in. And then once you have your values or you get stuck, go ahead and come back and I'll have the answers in here for you. The symbol for calcium is a capital C, lowercase a. It has 20 protons, mass number of 42. Oh, 20 atomic number, sorry. Uh, it also has 20 protons. Neutrons, we look at, take our mass number minus our number of protons. We have 22. And our number of electrons, the same as our number of protons for 20. For our next row here, we have an protons of 38. So we know that our electrons are 38 and our atomic number is 38. So we look to the periodic table for our atomic number of 38. And that is strontium, which has a symbol of SR. And our mass number is going to be our number of protons plus our neutrons for 88. Next line, atomic number of 14 means our number of protons are 14 and our number of electrons are 14. For our mass number, we add those two together. We have a mass number of 30. <clears throat> and silicon has an atomic number of 14. Last one here, atomic number of 56. This is barium. Funny joke is what, hap what happens to a chemist after you they die? You bury them. <laughs> I'm so funny. All right, protons. We have 56, same number of atomic number. Okay, our neutrons. We take our mass number minus our number of protons. Uh, so barring my subtraction skills, what do we have? 82. I believe so. Our electrons seem as our number of protons for 56. Okay.